you came to the right place stackbmx.com's youtube channel where we tell you everything about bikes and bike parts hang tight because we're going to tell you everything about this gear 29 inch bike so check this thing out this thing's pretty cool i love the colorway it's crazy because it's a bmx bike with gears um so today we're going to do an explain the review on the 29 inch throne goon runner so uh yeah this hit a lot of people by surprise uh we knew it was coming out we just didn't know when and now is the time it's came out so uh let's go through this bike let's tell you everything about this bike what's different what's the same um other little facts just like uh my other videos but maybe we talk about how this one differentiates from the regular goon or how this one is better or what's the difference is so yeah let's start it off starting from the get-go i noticed that it has uh the traditional uh thrown grips let me go over here see how this has thrown traditional lock on grips um going to the brake lever uh the brake lever comes with the hydraulic uh tectro brake lever this thing works pretty good out of the box uh, I did notice that the cables came a little messed up, kind of kind of bent up and stuff like that. But uh, here at Stacked, we fix it up. So now the, the cables look really, really nice. So if you're having troubles with your bike and you built your bike and the cables are messed up, kind of look all wonky and, and curly cued, uh, I will be posting a video. So stay tuned for that video and I'll show you how to get rid of all those wrinkles and cur curly curls and all that other stuff. Uh, going to the bars, you have some nice four piece bars on here uh they're relatively big a little bit bigger than most one most bars i think these are probably around eight inch maybe nine inch actually definitely eight inch bars maybe a little bit smaller i'll measure them or check out the specs for those uh, but they do look bigger than most of the other bars going to the stem it has a cnc uh throne stem this thing's chrome plated it looks super nice uh we've got our greasy mitts all over it uh the fork does come a little bit long so if you want to cut this off so this doesn't uh, stick out or you can raise the stem put the stem up higher uh, has a integrated throne uh, alloy headset these bearings are sealed it's got a nice head tube badge on it uh, nice and chrome looks pretty sick on there you want to check that out bling bling going down the forks uh, the forks are the traditional forks that's been on all the bikes uh, notice how the bottom race it's all machined out looks pretty sick uh, definitely looks like a lot better fork than, than most forks that I've seen. Going down to the bottom, it's capped off right here. Uh, this is to give your, your peg some clearance. Let's say you have a peg on there and you want to put your foot on there. Kind of gives you a little bit more clearance or you could kind of lock your foot in, in there. So that kind of helps out. Plus it helps the peg from not hitting the actual tubing on it. So I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, going to the front tire, it definitely has Max's uh, hookworm tires on there. You know Throne knows what's up, so they definitely had to get those on there. Uh, going down to the rims are 36 uh, hole double wall alloy rims, and they are polished. Look at how nice they look, nice and polished. Got black spokes with the sealed Throne front hub, 3 8 axles. This is a, a male axle. Uh, going to the other side, it does has a, have a front disc hub. So if you want to put a disc brake on here, you totally can. And on the back side of the fork, you have a mount for disc brake. So you can mount the disc brake there. Uh, it also has a cable guide right here. So you can zip tie a cable on here, run it through the fork. Uh, also on the fork, the, the fork cap has a large hole so you can run a cable on there. A lot of the other bikes don't have that. I think that's pretty cool. Going to the frame. The frame is a 6061 aluminum frame. It's got a lot of hydroforming on it as well as invest casting. It's got two big gussets on the top and bottom of the top tube and down tube. I know these frames are super strong because I jumped over a truck bed, actually a dually truck bed on one of these bikes and that thing held up. I continue to ride it for a very long time and it never broke on me. So I know these bikes are super heavy duty. Uh, definitely go big on mine and uh, these things definitely hold up going to the frame uh, Or the seat tube on the frame. It's got a big giant urban hustle Sticker right here. That thing looks pretty dope kind of looks like the late Lakers uh, logo 
Um, or is that the Kings? Oh shit, I think the Kings. Uh, but it looks pretty sick anyways. I can't remember. I'm kind of brain farting on here trying to come with things to say on the video. Going down the cranks, you got a mid-bottom bracket alloy. Um, it's got a 33-2 sprocket, chrome plated. It looks really nice, shiny, chrome chrome cranks, and it has some Welgo uh, plastic pedals with like a chrome finish on them. They look cr pretty crazy. Also got a quick release seat clamp, uh, 27-2 seat post. Post. This is an alloy seat post. You could tilt the seat quite a bit. Uh, on the top of the seat, we got a, a throne logo right here, black on black with the run the streets on the back. This seat looks really, really grippy. If you're doing seat combos and stuff like that, this seat will definitely uh, do everything that you need to do and more. This thing is actually pretty soft. I, I'm digging that seat. Uh, going to the chain, it's got a nine speed. Let me see, I'm pretty sure it's a KMC. Not sure, I don't see the logo on it. Uh, I believe it's a KMC. Can't read my eyes, are going bad. Uh, all right, to the next thing, cassette. You got a 10 speed cassette. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's how you count the speeds. Going down to the derailleur, you got a Shimano Dior derailleur. Uh, Dior is like a cost-effective, heavy-duty uh, component level that shimano creates so having a good heavy duty derailleur is what you need i think that's great going to the back brake we have the tetro hydraulic brakes a 160 rotor on it back wheel is the same as a front uh it's got a maxis tire it's got the polished rims uh it also has these little have these little dice right here as valve caps these things are pretty sick Mine always gets stolen or people try to steal mine, so I got to watch those things like a hawk. But those are things that are pretty cool. Uh, going to the rear hub, a lot of people have troubles with the rear hub. This one actually has the nice hub that's really, really loud. And it's got a 14 millimeter axle. This thing is crazy. Um, so if you're doing peg tricks and stuff like that, you could put pegs on here and you're not going to have to worry about your axles bending. Uh, that's super cool and the rear yoke back here uh, notice how let me try to get in focus notice how there's a lot of room look at how much room even with this Max's tire on here uh, this tire is a 2.5 so you could probably run a 2.8 in here uh, maybe if you could push the wheel forward a little bit but I don't think you can because the dropout stops we slammed it all the way forward uh, one big note they wanted to talk about on this bike was uh, this derailleur hanger, uh, I noticed that this derailleur hanger is super beefy. If you don't know what that is, it's basically this little part right here that you put the derailleur uh, onto. And uh, this thing usually gets all bent up or anytime you hit it, get gets bent. Um, there is like a plus and minus about that. So I want to bring it up. Uh, the reason why they do that is so that that bends and it doesn't jack up your frame. Um, on this scenario, uh, let's check it out first before I bring it up. Uh, going to the back of it, this thing is super heavy duty. This thing is solid steel. Uh, it's bolted on and then the bottom of the hanger. Try to see if, see how thick that, that hanger is. It's like almost as thick as my finger. That thing's pretty th thick. So what that said is normally when you hit your derailleur hanger or your derailleur and something bends it's usually the hanger hangers are about 20 to 30 bucks usually um but in this scenario if you hit your derailleur and something bent i really don't think it's gonna be the hanger so that thing's gonna be pretty good but the derailleur is probably gonna get mangled or bent up and that derailleur might cost you more than an actual hanger so what do you guys think do you think it's more beneficial to have a hanger that doesn't bend and you bend up your derailleur or do you want uh to bend your hanger and not your derailleur and you guys let me know in the comments i think this bike is an awesome bike what do you guys think but those are some of the concerns that i see on it but i think it's not that big of a deal and i think this is an awesome bike if you love it too head over to stackbmx.com and pick yourself up one today